All right, so this is my fresh out of the theater reaction to uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Caught a matinee show. Um, okay, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, you know, it was, uh, quite frankly, it was better than I expected it was going to be. Does it compare to the three Planet of the Apes movies that had, um, Andy Serkis? Like, is it anywhere as good as those? No, not at all. Yeah, um, but I didn't expect it to be as good. So, I mean, I went in with low expectations and... It was okay. There were things about the movie that annoyed me. Um, I'm not going to go into anything as far as the ending and stuff because I don't want to spoil it. I thought that uh, the character of Noah was a decent protagonist. And I did like uh, the other ape, the orangutan, Raka. I thought that he was pretty cool. The one major gripe I have with the film that really bugs me and keeps it and kind of brought it down for me was the character of May, the uh, human female. She's a bit of a Mary Sue. Um, well, I'm just going to let us say she's a Mary Sue. And she really kind of takes over the movie. Uh, I, I don't necessarily, I mean, I don't hate the film, but, you know, it kind of, it kind of bugs me. Now, it did have an interesting ending. I am interested to see the next film, but, you know, at this point, it kind of feels like we're rehashing, we're kind of rehashing things, you know, the whole question of can humans and apes coexist and live together I mean uh, I don't know um we'll see it's it's definitely not my favorite apes film I don't think it was terrible if you're an apes fan I would say definitely go and watch it but keep your expectations low you know it's not uh it doesn't hold a candle to the three films starring Andy Serkis. So, all right, that's it. Short, sweet and to the point. Thanks for watching and uh, have a wonderful day.